Hi, it's Martha from Schema Apps, and in this tutorial, we'll show you how to mark up an event. So from the homepage, you're going to click on event, um, and it's going to pop up. And I'm a big Billy Joel fan, so we are going to mark up um, a Billy Joel concert. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the URL that I'm going to mark up. So I'm going to pretend I'm marking up the, the Billy Joel website. And go ahead and put in Billy Joel concert in um, in Texas. And we'll put the URL in there. Um, Texas maybe we'll put San Antonio, so we're very clear. Um, and then in the event, you can scroll down. You'll see there's a ton of different types of events. Um, and so this is specifically a music event. So I'll go ahead and push OK. So then what I want to do is, is put in um, a description. So this is, there's really no description here. So we'll go ahead and, and just come up with a description. So Billy Joel to sing in at at and Center in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, the image, let's go ahead and uh, you know, we can just pick a Billy Joel image here. Oh, here's this concert one here. So we'll just save image, copy image address, and we'll put that one in there. Um, potential action, same as, probably doesn't make the sense. Um, and again, the URL, we'll just go ahead and, and pick the, the concert URL. So then we're going to go and do the music event properties. Uh, so if we start here and we look at, uh, let's start by doing the the performer. So select organization. So you can see here it's prompting you to create an instance. So let's create the instance for Billy Joel. Since he's the performer and it's a person. Um, and then what we can do is actually pick a URL. Um, so here again we can use Wikipedia. Um, or we could use, let's say, if Ticketmaster had a description of it. Um, so we'll go ahead and, you know, look at Billy Joel's and Wikipedia. So we'll pick that out and we'll put that in here. Um, and we could add a second one. So if there was another uh, performer, you could put a, a second performer in there. Um, so the start date um, is the other thing you're going to do. So this, this one is happening on December 9th. So I'm going to go forward and select December 9th, 2016. Um, and then I can go ahead and, and edit the time. So you can see it's like picking the time now. Uh, so this is going to specifically happen at 8 o'clock. So I'll put in the time for 8 o'clock. Um, and I think it needs two other zeros. So I'm going to make the same format I had before. Um, and then we'll just say it going, it's going to, to 6 a.m. Uh, next, what we're going to do is uh, put where it is happening, so the location. Um, so if I come up here, and it's going to ask me to create an instant for that location. So this is happening at the AT&T Center. So AT&T Center. Oh, and I'm spelling it in the Canadian way. <laughs> um, and it's a place. So we'll go ahead and, and click OK. So now what we want to do is add the offer. So what is the offer? The offer is really calling out what the, the price of ticket is. So under offer here, you can see an offer to provide this item, for example, an offer to sell a product, rent a DVD, a movie, performance service, or give away tickets for an event. Um, so again, we have to create an instance for the offer. Um, and so here what we're going to do is we're going to call out, there's, there's different types of tickets for Billy Joel. So let's start by doing, we'll call them the balcony level. Um, so balcony level. And uh, here we'll just leave it as the reference and we're going to call it an offer. We're going to have to go and edit that. So there's another one. Uh, let's say we're also going to, we want to call it specifically the, um, the back floor seating. So we could call that up here. Um, and we do create instance back for seating. Um, and again, it being an offer, we'll say okay. Um, and then maybe there's an organizer. So if there's an organizer that's doing, again, you want to go through here. And if there's, there's other things that you can fill out, 
that makes sense. So if it's in a, a different language, uh, you can go ahead and, and articulate sort of if it's in French or English or German, then you would create an instance. And then when you create the instance, let's say it was going to be in French, I could call it French. And then instead of actually trying to define that, you could use the Wikipedia um, entrance for the French language. And then Google would know what you mean about French uh, because it's defined by Wikipedia. So let's go back here and we put that in there. Um, and then you're going to push save. Now, if there's anything missing, so one constraint, event offer requires a price and currency. So we're going to go do that next. So we'll say that's okay to save that. Um, and what we're going to go do is, is go and add that price currency um, for the different type of offers. So we're going to go ahead and edit this. And so what this is going to do is bring up the offer. Um, so think of this as like the tickets. So for the um, the back floor seating that we've opened, um, so they're they're valid from um, February second. So let's see if there's a valid from. There it is, valid from. So we're going to go ahead and uh, so they went on sale on on February fifth. So we'll pick that. Um, and then the time probably doesn't matter so much here. Uh, we'll, we'll say we'll say 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, and then we want to uh, go ahead and uh, pick availability. So let's go ahead and pick the availability. Availability here. Let's see what it says. It says the item was designed, for example, in stock or out of stock or pre-order. So we can just put in stock. There you go. Um, the next thing we'll want to do is is put in an actual price. So let's go down and find the price. You can see the offers if it's a tangible thing you'd actually put in G10s but because it's just a ticket. Uh, so the price here, the back floor seating is $152.89 um, and we do have a URL for this um, and it's specifically um, Ticketmaster has a URL, so we can go ahead and, and put the, the Ticketmaster uh, link for those. So we'll say here uh, the Ticketmaster URL for those seats, and we'll, we'll enter it there. Okay, so save. All right, offer requires price and price currency. Oh, I obviously forgot the price currency, so let's edit it. And go ahead, and I saw the price, price currency is going to be in USD. So again, it says to use the three-letter ISO. Okay, no errors that time. And then you can see it was referred to from Billy Joel. Um, so then what you would do for the balcony level type of offers or tickets, you would go ahead um, and edit the same thing. And you can see these ones. Uh, so we are, again, the URL for there's a ticket master for those specific tickets, so we can put that in there. Um, and then we can go down and do the price. And the price is 70.64, and the price currency is USD. I'm going to go ahead and save changes. All right, all is working well. So let's just go ahead and, and test the markup. So if I do get JSON LD, grab the JSON LD. I'm going to go to the Google Structured Data Testing Tool, um, and I'm going to remove what I had previously there and paste that in and validate it. Oh, it's giving me a missing error, so I'm missing the address on the AT&T Center. So I go back here, and I go to AT&T Center, and I edit this, and lo and behold, there is an address field, and so I can go ahead and add the address information uh, for the et t Center, which is, here we are, doo -doo. all right, so it's one at t Center, imagine it's got its own street. And it is in San Antonio, in Texas. And the postal code is 78219, and the country is USA. All right, I'll save those changes. Okay, go back here. Now right, let's test it again. 
Again, if it's in your website, you can go ahead and, and just enter the URL for your website in the structured data testing tool. And it will bring it all back up. All right, and let's validate it again. All good, we're good to go. That's how you mark up an event and add offers for tickets.